William Alexander Greenhill, the 1st of January 1814, Stationers Hall, London, the 19th of September 1894, Hastings, was an English physician, literary editor, and sanitary reformer. Topic: Biography. William Alexander Greenhill was the youngest of three sons of George Greenhill, treasurer of the Stationers Company. He was educated at rugby school under Thomas Arnold, a favourite pupil of Arnold. He later married Arnold's niece Laura Ward. At rugby, he befriended A. H. Clough, W. C. Lake, A. P. Stanley, and C. J. Vaughan. He went on to Trinity College, Oxford, where he took no arts degree but studying medicine at the Radcliffe Infirmary in Paris, graduated M.B. in 1839 and M.D. in 1840. Greenhill was appointed physician to the Radcliffe Infirmary in 1839. A pioneer in the cause of sanitary reform, in the days when sanitary reform was thought a crazy fanaticism." He first wrote on Oxford's public health and mortality for the Ashmolean Society, after a cholera outbreak in Oxford. In 1840 he hosted Richard Francis Burton in his house, encouraging the young student to study the Arabic by introducing him to the Spanish scholar Don Pascual de Gayangos. At the time Greenhill, who lived in John Henry Newman's parish, was serving as Newman's church warden, he came to know Pusey, and other leaders of the Oxford movement. Other Oxford academic friends included Charles Page Eden, William John Copeland, Charles Marriott, J. B. Morris and James Bowling Mosley. A political liberal, Greenhill actively supported William Ewart Gladstone's election as MP for the university in 1847. Like other university liberals, however, he was later discomfited by Gladstone's direction in the 1880s. He did not vote liberal in 1885, fearing disestablishment of the Church of England, or 1886, objecting to the Home Rule program. In 1851 Greenhill resigned his Radcliffe Infirmary post and briefly attempted practice as an Oxford physician. However, he moved later that year to Hastings on grounds of health, though he may also have wanted to escape Oxford's febrile religious controversies. For many years he was physician to the St. Leonard's and East Sussex Infirmary. His investigations of mortality rates in Hastings showed the insanitary conditions of artisan housing, despite the town's new popularity as a health resort. In 1857 he founded the Hastings Cottage Improvement Society, and was its secretary from 1857 to 1891. This company bought up and improved insanitary accommodation, as well as building new housing of a better standard. The venture's success prompted Greenhill to promote the idea at the National Association for the Promotion of Social Science, and establish a similar organisation in London, the London Labourers Dwellings Society, of which he was secretary from 1862 to 1876. On Gladstone's recommendation, Greenhill was granted a civil list pension of £60 in 1881. At the time of his death at the Croft, Hastings, aged 81, Greenhill had outlived his wife and his eldest daughter and son, who had each died young, one son and one daughter survived him. <laughs> <laughs> Literary pursuits Greenhill's interest in Arabic and Greek medical writers resulted in a Greek and Latin edition of Theophilus, a Latin edition of Thomas Sydenham 1844, an English translation from the Arabic of Razors on Small Pox, and a large number of articles in William Smith's Dictionary of Greek and Roman Antiquities. In the mid-1840s he published anonymous memoirs of James Stonehouse, Thomas Harrison Burder and George Cheney, and edited material on physicians' social duties by Jacob Horst, Christoph Wilhelm Huffland, and Thomas Gisborne. 
Greenhill was an enthusiast for Sir Thomas Brown, and his 1881 edition of Religio Medici for Macmillan's Golden Treasury series was praised for its scholarship, becoming a standard edition of the book. His edition of Brown's Hydriotaphia and Garden of Cyrus, unfinished at his death, was completed by his friend E. H. Marshall and published in 1896. He was an editor and frequent contributor to the British Medical Journal, and contributed to Notes and Queries and the Dictionary of National Biography. Topic works Ed. Theophil Perry T. S. Taus Anthropocatiscus Biblia Epsilon. Theophili. De Corporis Humani Fabrica Libri v. Oxford, 1842. Latin and Greek, tr, from Latin of Jacob Horst, Prayers for the Medical Profession, London, 1842 Anon, Advice to a Medical Student, London, 1843 Ed, Tome Sydenham Opera Omnia, Sydenham Society, 2 vols, 1844, 1846. English and Latin Anon, Preface signed Alpha Life of the Reverend Sir James Stonehouse, Bart, with extracts from his tracts and correspondence, Oxford, J. H. Parker, 1844 Anecdota Sydenhamia, Medical Notes and Observations of Thomas Sydenham, M.D., hitherto unpublished, 1845 Anon, Preface signed Alpha Life of Thomas Harrison Birder, M.D., with extracts from his correspondence, London, Rivingtons, 1845 Five, Anon, Life of George Cheney, M.D., with extracts from his works and correspondence, Oxford, John Henry Parker, 1846 ed. On the Relations of the Physician to the Sick, to the Public and to His Colleagues, Oxford, 1846. Extracts from C. W. Hufflin's Intraridian Medicum, tr. from Arabic of Razors, a treatise on the smallpox and measles, 1847 Medical Report of the Case of Miss H. M., 1847 ed., on the duties of physicians, resulting from their profession, Oxford, 1847. Ch. 12 of Thomas Gisborne's inquiry into the duties of men in the higher and middle classes of society in Great Britain monthly, quarterly, annual report on the mortality and public health of Oxford. Ashmolean Society, 1849-50 on the Establishment and Management of Cottage Improvement Societies, a paper read in the Fifth Department of the National Association for the Promotion of Social Science, in the Guildhall, London, 9 June 1862, London, 1862 Adversaria Medico-Philologica, London, Saville and Edwards, 13 parts, 1864-1872. Reprinted from the British and Foreign Medico Chirurgical Review. A classified list of the charitable institutions of Hastings and St. Leonard's, Hastings, 1873 A form of prayer to be used on the opening of a new house or block of buildings, London, 1873 On the mortality and public health of Hastings. Paper read at the Health Congress, Hastings, May 1889, Hastings, F. J. Parsons, 1890 The Contrast, Duty and Pleasure, Right and Wrong, Hastings, 1874, 6th edit, London, 1893 ed., Sir Thomas Brown's Religio Medici, Letter to a Friend, and C., and Christian Morals, Macmillan, 1881 ed., with E. H. Marshall, Sir Thomas Brown's Hydrotophia and the Garden of Cyrus, Macmillan, 1895. 